As we look to the next 50 years, never before has the Temple of Understanding's vision of a global interfaith network been more relevant or more urgent. As Helen Keller said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Good morning. Shalom, salam, namaste. Greetings from the Temple of Understanding. This is the right group of people at the right time and we're called to do something very special today. Our next speaker doesn't really need an introduction. Everything that is bad for the environment is a job. You know, the earth doesn't pollute itself. You know, we pollute the earth. So everything that's bad for the environment is a job. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. Everything that is good for the environment is also a job. Uh, these solutions are morally right, e ecologically right, and economically right. After hearing this dynamic talk, I want you to think about the hard questions that we are going to have to ask ourselves. Can we use the internet to do justice to the complex network of relationships that lie within faith and ecology? Despite our un different understandings of, of reincarnation, yeah. or incarnation, or, is the fact of suffering that when religious people see needless suffering, they respond. And so I think the suffering of human beings and the suffering of the planet now is a tremendous opportunity to, to call yeah. religions together. It will inform and influence my work, having tremendous minds that are gathered here. I'm very excited about what the Temple of Understanding is doing. My takeaway is that the, is the Temple of Understanding managed to get the Earth Charter, Religions for Peace, the World Congress of Faith, United Religions Initiative, the Parliament of the World's Religions, and many others into the room happily talking about creative ideas. That's huge. That is huge. Everything that lives is holy. In other words, this world is a sanctuary, right? A sacred place. This room holds the people who hold the people through the ceremonies in their lives, through the challenges, through the difficulties, through the good days, through the bad days. And this room is holding the people who hold the people. So that makes it a doubly sacred place. My name is Allison Van Dyke, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Temple of Understanding, I'd like to welcome you to our 50th anniversary gala dinner. Today, it has been an honor to host the leaders of the International Interfaith Organizations and many others by inviting you to join us for an all-day conference to work together towards a new vision of the future by assessing the role that faith traditions and interfaith organizations can have in facing the challenges of this century, climate change, environmental justice, and sharing of resources. On behalf of the Secretary General of the United Nations, who has called climate change the defining issue of our time, while we face no more profound challenge, we have no more profound resource than that of people of faith around the world working together to address this defining challenge of our time. That temple of understanding and compassion lies in the hearts of each and every human being on this planet. And now more than ever, we are called to come together to take a stand for our world and for healing our planet. Please join me in a warm welcome to a truly long time friend of the Temple of Understanding, Rollin Smith. I am delighted to serve as your master of ceremonies for this 50th anniversary gala. You know, if the world ever needed an example of what one person can do to inspire, to enthuse, to sustain a vision of understanding between beliefs and actions of peace, it need not look any further than Juliet Hollister when she created the Temple of Understanding back in 1960. Man, it's a spiritual being, life is a spiritual journey, and we are interrelated, interconnected. You and I, my pussycats, the puppy dogs, and the, and the dogwood tree. People of all persuasions, all ideologies, can live together in mutual respect and harmony. The man spoke for himself with dignity, with passion, with sincerity, and above all, 
with the message that we all need to hear. The aim of dialogue is to create a breakthrough in education, in disintermediating the media, in correcting stereotypes, and in working together to enhance what is universal and promote respect for the other. I've always hoped that coming together wasn't just to talk about religion, but to be active in service of the world. But when in 1997 Al Gore welcomed in the person of His All Holiness, the recipient of the Congressional Gold Medal, it was for good reason that he addressed him as the Green Patriarch. Your All Holiness, your eloquent teachings on the sanctity of the earth have won you the affectionate and respectful title of the Green Patriarch and have inspired many of us in our work on the environment. This is the beginning of a serious ongoing dialogue to really begin to create a rising swell of support for the transition to an ecological civilization. We've got to change the way that we relate to the world in terms of energy, in terms of conservation, in terms of our responsibility for the environment. That's going to have a ripple effect on literally billions of people around the world. You are not here as a pinch hitter for your daddy. The fact that he finally decided that he could afford to retire was because he knew you were ready. And for that fact, I want to celebrate with you. What we have is a beautiful canvas that the differences are what makes our, our shared humanity so beautiful and so strong. I wonder where the moon goes when she is in hiding, I want to find her there and watch the ocean spin from a distance. Listen to her stir in her sleep. Effort give way to existence. We very early lit upon the Temple of Understanding because Juliet Hollister so long ago understood the force that religion could be in the world, that we develop a global democracy where everybody's voices are heard and everybody's aspirations taken seriously. This is the challenge, this is the religious challenge of our generation. There is a path that leads to a gate that requires a key. The path is understanding, the gate is love, the key is in your hand. Yeah.